What's up Geeksters, it's me Omar from Geekster Labs and today I have a sponsored review for a product that was sent to me from Ballistic. And so Ballistic just recently like kind of revamped a lot of their line of cases and products on their site. And uh, matter of fact, I'll be reviewing their iPhone Pro 11 cases very soon on the channel. But today I wanted to check out something different. So today we have the tempered glass screen protector. And so I'm hearing whispers that this is probably one of the easiest screen protectors to install on your iPhone. Uh, for those of you that don't install a lot of screen protectors, they can be pretty tricky sometimes. So, but this has a really interesting system that actually locks into the phone itself and makes it to where it'll be a perfect lineup and should have no issues, no problems. So we're gonna put that to the test and check it out. So let's open this box and see what things come inside of it. Okay, so here we have the box and the contents of it. So as you see here, we have some instructions on how to install it. Uh, looks pretty straightforward and simple. You just use the wet wipe to wipe it down. You insert it, you plug the B Labs installer, that's what this little kit is called, into the bottom of the iPhone's uh, lightning connector. And then you basically remove the film, flap it on, and then you push your you push the pressure on it from the bottom starting from the bottom and it should evenly go on to there. So let's check it out. So here we have the screen protection accessories. What's inside here? So this is the wet wipe, I believe. Yep. So that's the wipe for it. Here is the actual little installation kit. Okay, so this is a tempered glass screen protector. Lots of these available. This one retails for 30 bucks. I don't think I mentioned that at the very beginning. So super affordable. Pretty much what you come to expect for those types of things. These are screen protectors. So we see here that it has this little port on the bottom and that's what it uses to attach to the iPhone to, in order to make sure it has a straight lineup when it comes to the installation. So it looks like a nice screen protector. Pretty basic, like your traditional tempered glass. You guys, don't buy cheap plastic screen protectors. Come on, like nowadays, get the tempered glass. That's that's pretty where it's at. That's pretty much where it's at. You know, it's not going to cost you that much more to get a tempered glass one. So let me take out the wipe here. I'm going to clean off the screen, and then we are going to attempt the installation to see uh, how easy this really is. All right, so here's all the kits that come in with the cleaning stuff right here. So we have a wet wipe, we have some dry wipes, and then we have some dust removing stickers. And so this is what you'll use if you find any dust particles, because one speck of dust on this screen will totally ruin the whole install, and there's gonna be a little bubble that I'll never be able to remove from there. So these are definitely super important to have. So let me do a quick wipe down, and let's get this bad boy ready to go. Okay, so the phone is ready to go. I have it nice and cleaned up. So let's see how this little kit works out right here. So I basically place this on top and I plug in the bottom port into the lightning cable port on the phone itself. So right now it looks like it lines up pretty perfectly. It's looking good to go. So I'm gonna put it down on the table so I don't move it around too much. Okay, so now we lift this piece up right here. We're going to Remove the film, like so. We're gonna set it down, oh no. Is there a dust particle in there? Oh, it is, but I think it, it got encased in there, so I think I'm okay. So let's see. There's a couple pieces of air bubbles right there, and there is one speck of dust, gosh darn it. I didn't see that when I was picking up the dust with the sticker, so that is unfortunate. But there's not a big piece of air around it, so that's kind of good. So once we have that piece there, but now it says remove the bottom piece by peeling this piece back. Oh, we got two spots right there that do have some air. Let's see if we can buff those. So, so far we have that right there. So let's see if we can move those uh, pockets of air out of there, and hopefully there's not a piece of dust right there. All right, so I was able to buff out those two big air pockets that I had in there. Totally went away, totally fine, and so far it lined up perfectly. So that's definitely way better than trying to eyeball it myself and try to get it to line up. That's definitely one of the easiest kits I've ever used as far as a screen protector goes. Uh, there are two spots, if you can see there's one right there, and there's one right there where I, I screwed up and I, there was two dots of dust, and I didn't see that when I was using the dust sticker to lift them up. But I'm actually kind of surprised because normally when that's happened to me before in other screen protectors, there's usually a big little air pocket that goes around that piece of dust. But this one is like right up on that dust. Like there's there's no, there's barely, I mean you could barely, if I didn't point it out, you might not even notice it. I mean, depending on what, what angle I'm showing it to you. So like the fact that it, it's basically nice and tight around a little speck of dust and it's not like a little bubble that's in there, that's really obvious. I'm pretty impressed with that, that looks good. But the texture of this is super nice, super smooth. It feels just like the, the iPhone screen, so I don't think that's gonna be anything that's gonna bother you when you're using it. 
uh, when you do have a case on the phone, it, it's per it should be totally fine. Because it, it does line up perfectly because of the installer, you can see there's a, a slight edge on here and that's gonna work with pretty much all the cases, especially uh, the cases from Ballistic, which I, like I said, I'll be reviewing very soon. But if you, even if you use other cases with the phone, I have another case right here actually. Let's pop it in and let's make sure to see what this looks like. Yeah, so there we go. So see when, you, when it's in the case, it still is perfect, so it doesn't push up, because if I've seen other screen protectors that are a little bit too large, and they won't work with all cases. It, the case might push up on it, and then it kind of messes it up. But this one has enough of an edge around the whole phone that it, it gives you enough space to be able to add a case to it. So, very impressed, very nice. Uh, like I said, the texture and everything is, feels very good. This has an uh, oleophobic coating on it, so it's gonna try to do, uh, it'll do a good job of preventing from bacteria or anything like that building up on the screen, so that's pretty cool. Like I said, 30 bucks, very reasonably priced. I'll have a link down below in the description if you guys wanna check it out and purchase one for yourself for your iPro, uh, iPhone Pro 11, 11 Pro, or 11 Pro Max. I believe they have it available in all those three different sizes. So if you have any questions about this product, post them down below in the comment section and I'll get back to you as quickly as possible. If you guys wanna check out some of my other videos, you can click on either one of these clips over here to the side. And if you wanna to subscribe to my YouTube channel, make sure you click on my face and don't forget to ring that bell to be notified of all my new reviews as they get dropped on my channel. And I'll see you guys in the next video review.